Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do an oil change on my 2015 Civic Si. Um, getting the best of the best. These these are the ones I put last time. It's been I try to do my oil change every six months, depending how hard I drive it. And then I got the oil filter. It's AutoZone. I got Valvoline. That's the oil. I got 5W20 full synthetic. So, so far, I got the car. I got the car jacked up. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the support little towers on the side. Hopefully they fit. And then after, I'm gonna have to move the oil, remove the oil cap, let it drain, remove the oil filter. And then the thing, bad thing about these 2015 Civic SIs, you have to remove the windshield wipers. It's plastic. And then under this plastic, there's like a metal plate that you have to remove also, which is not a pain in the ass, but it's scary to lose those bolts that hold that metal plate in. All right, let's get this started. Currently under the car. Here's the oil filter. Still pretty hot. It's a little warm. It's not too bad. And then the drain has this one right here. It's pretty easy. They're both right next to each other. I've seen a video where they remove this first. I might just do that or let it cool down a little bit more because it's pretty hot still. But let's drain the oil. We got the pan over there. And yeah, let's see how this goes. That cat right there. Full <laughs> three inch exhaust all the way up. You guys can see the downpipe right there. Any leaks? No leaks. Like everything's pretty tidy up down here. Might be a turbo in the future one day. Damn, this thing is rusted. But yeah, let's get let's do this oil change because I still gotta do the spark plugs. We got the oil filter out. Let's see what's going on under here. All right, so that's where the oil filter goes. Right there. Hash port uh, or water mount. So my downpipe won't crack. I already bolted back the drain. Here's all the oil. Here's the oil filter. And yeah, now I just gotta put in the oil filter, hand tighten it. Then move up to the top and fill it up and move on to the spark plugs. And the bolt you'll be needing, the socket you'll be needing is a 17. It's right here. If it focuses. There it is. Yeah, but little by little, we're getting there. It's a little messy, as you can tell. Might have missed the pan a little bit. Let's not talk about that though. Now we're gonna open up the oil put a little bit of a, put a little bit on the rim of the oil filter and looped up si no no va a entrar there you go just a little bit clean up your fingers and I'll go install it and I'll be right back so oil filter install and I went double checked under the car make sure everything the bolt and the Oil filter was nice and tight because you don't want oil leaking after you start dumping the new oil into your car. So right now I'm gonna lower the car back down to the floor and I'm gonna put the new oil without making a mess. Trying without making a mess. <laughs> I can't find a funnel, so I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna throw it in. 
and hopefully I don't make a mess. I'll put some rags just in case. <laughs> which is more of a show. I got some D2 coilovers street and then I got you gotta remove these I think these are I'm not sure what size these are these three these are the easy ones and you got another three on the other side but inside there if you can see it if it focuses right inside right there those are scary because if you lose those you that's like I don't know they could just really easily fall back so when you remove those you really got to be careful and i think there's like three there's one right here one in the middle and one on the left I removed this big ass metal piece don't know what it's for I don't know if it's to keep water out it looks like there's been water sitting there um, just to like it get to the valve cover you gotta remove these bolts this one and this two on each side I think they're tens remove that spark plug should be right under it and yeah fuck and then put everything back in make sure everything nice and tight i don't know why they designed this car like that it literally makes no sense why it's just a pain in the ass and if you go to a shop and if they know the car they're going to charge you even more to change them so you're just better off um just doing it on your own you know but yeah let's continue with this change the spark plugs get this over with
like that we're done with the Civic we did the spark plugs we did the oil we did the oil filter um, also did the the air filter I blew it out just to get a little bit cleaner my car needs a wash I'm too busy detailing everybody's car everybody's else's car but not mine <laughs> so this is the tools I used so for sure you're gonna need an extension to get that metal plate under the plastic that's right here under this is a metal plate that you have to remove and this one this is for the spark plugs this is what you're gonna need for the spark plugs the other tools you're gonna use is a 12 this one's a 13 you need an 8 for the air filter and this one is a 10 10 is for the little bolts in the back and a flathead to get the, the air filter off also or the little plastic things that go right here these I'm back just got home car feels fine in the morning I'll check if there's any oil leaks I parked in a clean area um, I forgot to mention before I left my parents house once you do the oil and you have that code B12 I think all you have to do after is just, um, let me show you guys. After is you're, gonna hit your, you're, you're gonna hit your menu button. You're gonna see that pop up on your, sc on your screen. Vehicle information. So you're gonna go to vehicle information and click source. Pretty much your middle button. Maintenance info. You click it again in the center. There's the button I'm talking about. This one right here. And then see how mine says 100% oil life. All you have to do is hit this middle button again and it's going to ask you if you want to reset the vehicle's information after you do your oil change and just hit yes and your code should go away don't get robbed by no dealers or some mechanic that i need to put the computer in they don't need to do anything they just have to go in this menu and reset it so i hope i hope you like the i hope you guys like the video Drop a like, and if you guys wanna see more like this, put something in the comments below. Um, I enjoy working on my car. It could be in the pain in the butt because car things never go smooth. But um, yeah, it went pretty smooth. This video helps you guys out or anyone.